Hey everyone, it's Jessica Michaels here with A Cherry on Top Crafts and today's Technique Tuesday and we are focusing on interactive elements. So today I'm pulling out my travel notebook here. This is a life crafted album and I am pulling out lots of photos. I'm actually cutting this big one apart. I'm going to use half on the left side and then the other half on the right along with another small photo. So I've got lots of photos here I want to use today. I'm cutting the corners off of that one. I'm going to create like a little photo film strip but I want to use this paper by Coco Vanilla Studio. This is their great escape collection and I want to actually make a fold out or kind of flip out element so that's going to be part of my interactive elements and I'm just measuring this here to see for sure how big I need to make this and it ended up being um, five inches wide but with the fold it was I believe nine inches wide. I just used my scoring board there to score it at the five inch mark so that it has a nice edge to fold and then here I decided I want to do another interactive element on top of this. I'm going to actually make this into a pocket. I didn't like that cloud side of the paper whenever I folded it back so this is kind of where that that idea stemmed from right whenever I went to put that other pattern paper on there I thought oh I really like that and I think I want to make a pocket here so I can shove some extra photos into this pocket as well so I'm just cutting that down a little bit so it's kind of like a peekaboo cloud paper behind there to show that it's an opening and I'm going to do some machine stitching along this um, the left side the top and the bottom to make my pocket. I'm grabbing this little sunshine paper here. Um, I grabbed a couple other papers because I wasn't sure which one I wanted to use. That blue would have been nice, but I ended up settling on the sunshine paper and my Spellbinders dies here from the shop. I've cut four little borders from that little scrap of paper. I'm just going to adhere these little scallop edges to the side of my little folder, if you will, and I'm just going to trim off the excess and then I'll do my machine stitching right over top of this. That's going to create my little edge for my folder itself. So I'm just going to lightly adhere this down so that I can um, do my machine stitching and everything and finish that up. I thought I was recording that whole time, but I wasn't. I actually went ahead and did my machine stitching on my sewing machine and then I started my little film strip with my photos just by matting with some white cardstock and I rounded the corners of the inside of those photos on the right side as well so that when you pull that out, both sides of those corners are rounded. So it's a nice little film strip. I'm just pulling out some of the title bits from this Great Escape collection and I'm going to add Add a couple little pieces of it here on the bottom of my photo strip. I'm going to add one word on each side so that it still folds nicely and I don't have any issues with that so I'm just careful to make sure I don't put any letters right where that fold is and then I wanted to do another title here along the side of that photo but wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do um, and then I thought well I'm just going to put go fish but I'm going to do that a little bit later. So I am going to start making my little, um, my other little interactive elements. I was going to try to put in these larger four by six photos and then I decided not to do that. I'm just going to stick with my smaller photos here and make some tags out of them. So I'm doing double sided tags. I was playing around with these larger ones to see if maybe I wanted to fold them in half and try to make tags out of them. But in the end, I axed that idea and I just kept my smaller ones. I'm going to make some double sided tags with these and using this cutter part sheet. So I'm just cutting a couple of the full size little pocket cards off of here to use as one side. I'm going to adhere my photo to the other side and then I'm going to make another little tag here in a minute that's kind of cool and it's going to be an interactive element as well. So I think I have like three interactive elements going here all on the same spread and as you can see on that left side there that was my last spread that I did for a cherry on top also and that was my last um, I think my last blog post that I did and um, I think I have a video for it too but I made some little interactive elements there too with a little pocket. So I love making tags and I love incorporating them into my mini books. So I just love this idea. I'm just cutting this one apart. I'm going to cut this little smaller piece off of here, off of these cut apart sheets. And that's when I'm going to make a little file folder kind of tag on here to hold an even smaller photo. So I've got photos of various sizes that I've printed and just have from this camping trip. So just going to work out perfectly. I'm going to do machine stitching around the outside edge of both of these tags. There you can 
can see I made my little pocket there just by stitching around the edges. I'm going to go ahead and cut my little holes in here. I ended up messing up and it's down a little bit too far, so I'm just going to move it up a little bit. I'm going to actually punch out some hole reinforcements to go over top of that so you're never going to tell that I moved it and made it a different spot. So it'll all work out. I'm going to go ahead and mat this photo with some smooth white cardstock. I did cut it down just a little bit more just so it fits nicely into that pocket. And then here's my hole reinforcement punch that I'm using to make those little hole reinforcement edges here to finish off all of these. So I'm just using some Deluxe Nuvo liquid adhesive there. It's one of my favorites. It dries super clear so you don't ever see it if you make a mess with it. But I'm just using that to um, actually apply to my tag itself and then I use my tweezers to set that little hole reinforcement punch on there. So here I'm going to put my title. It's just going to say Go Fish. I'm going to grab some other alphabet letters here. These are the Abigail Alphas. They were in the shop, but I think they might be sold out right now, but I'll check and I'll link them below if they're still in stock for you. But they're called the Abigail letters and I just love the font of these. It's in, I just think it's so pretty. And these are just the black ones, but I just used the word fish there and I'm using the word go from those little title bits. So that's going to be my title. Um, I'm grabbing some chipboards from this collection that I'm going to scatter about on both of these pages and the little flip layout. So I'm just going to embellish this up, add a bunch of these stickers. I'm going to add my date in here somewhere and I'm just going to add a bunch of things. So I'm going to pop some music in here while I finish up embellishing this. If you guys have any questions about anything that I've used or anything that I've done today, please let me know in the comments. And um, also in the comments, if you're still watching, let me know what your favorite subject is to scrap because I'm always curious to hear about what other people love to scrap and enjoy. So let me know in the comments. So thank you guys so much. I'll pop some music in here for now and I will stop back in in a moment and show you the finished layout.
finished spread. I really hope you guys enjoyed this process and seeing all these interactive elements and I hope that you can create something using these techniques. So thank you guys so much for being here. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.